Saturday, November 12th, 2022, Delano Burks and his two friends were in the Heights area of Houston bar hopping. They were at one bar watching the fight and ended up leaving that bar a little past midnight. It is alleged that all three friends did have drinks, so Delano may have been tipsy at this time. After leaving the bar in the early morning on Sunday, November 13th, with all three friends in Delano's car, Delano had to go to the bathroom, so they pulled over and he went into McIntyre's, a local bar in Heights. He was escorted out of the bar at around 1 a.m. through a side door. Later, he was caught on surveillance camera from a local business and was seen running, but he looked disheveled, as if he was under some form of influence. Delano also looked as if he was hurt or possibly running from someone or something. It's been 14 days and Delano has not been seen, nor has there been any solid leads. So where is Delano Burks? This is the Missing Found Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Harlow. Before we get into the case, I have a few details to share about the show. The Missing Found is a true crime podcast focusing mainly on unsolved missing person cases in the Black community. The cases that I cover have either gone cold, have little to no media coverage, or have gone without conclusion. You can follow the show on Instagram at The Missing Found or on Medium at The Missing Found to read our script. I also would like to mention that we have a case suggestion form in the show notes or description box that you can complete to submit your case suggestions that are of the Black and Missing. I ask that you please like, share, and subscribe and comment to share your thoughts on this case. This is case episode three, The Disappearance of Delano Burke. Today we're discussing the disappearance of Delano Burks. This case is currently active and under investigation. I wanted to make sure I cover this case and get it out as soon as I heard about it earlier today to help push the media reach. I want to make sure you know about this case if you're in the Houston area, familiar with the area, have relatives there, or live in Texas and surrounding cities and states. It is highly imperative that I share the details that have been released so far updates, and hopefully a positive outcome. So who was Delano Burks? Delano Burks was born on September 20th, 1996, and currently 26 years old. Delano has always been athletic and prioritized his physical health and wellness. According to his mother, Karen Jeffley, she described him as gentle and someone who does not like confrontation. Karen also mentioned that her son is an avid daily runner. In high school, he was the runner back for his football team. After high school, Delano continued the sport at Texas A&M and played football for their team. For work, Delano owns a real estate investment company in Houston. Delano is also a husband to his wife, Autumn, a son, and a brother. The case details. A night that went silent. From what we've gathered through interviews and family and law enforcement at the recent press conference, Delano was hanging out with two friends, one of the friends he hasn't seen in a while, and they were catching up. Delano and the friends were hanging out at a bar and watching the fight on TV, and assumingly they had a few drinks there at the bar. They all ended up leaving the bar in Delano's car, with a friend being the driver, and they pulled over in a restaurant and bar parking lot so Delano can go to the restroom. Delano went inside of McIntyre's at 1230 West 20th Street in Houston, Texas. Then something transpired inside of McIntyre's, and he was escorted out of the bar through a side door around 1 a.m. And there is surveillance video showing this. This video they obtained shows Delano exiting McIntyre's after he was asked to leave, then appearing to run and stumble in videos they shared with us from more nearby businesses. I was wondering if somebody was chasing him. According to Pierre Burks on Fox 26 Houston, the friends claimed that they were waiting for Delano in his car, but he did not return. They text him, but they did not receive a text back. After not receiving a text back, they went into Moonshine Deck, another local bar right next door. 
the two friends thought he was at and could not locate him there. Pierre also stated that the friends went back to Delano's car, claimed they circled the block to look for him, didn't see him, and ended up leaving in his car, Delano's car. Uh, and upon not getting a text back, they went inside Moonshine, where they thought he was, didn't see him, and then made their way back to the car where they circled the block, didn't see him, and left. The friends leaving with his car. Delano without an ID and possibly a dead cell phone seen here getting escorted out of McIntyre's around 1 a.m. Sunday morning. Nearby cameras then recording him running alone, stumbling almost with a limp. Someone gave him a drink and then you see him hours later running down the street. It looks like he's running from someone to me. The way he was fumbling around almost looked like it was drugged or something. He was drugged or something like that, which um, and then also, people keep bringing out, it looks like he's his side is hurt. This leaves Delano just out in the street with no car, no ID, and his cell phone may have had a low battery at this time. Later, around 1.13 a.m., according to his sister Monet, Delano is seen on surveillance footage running with what looks to be a limp. He looks disheveled because his run is off. It almost looks as if he has been drugged. Karen, Delano's mother, made sure to mention that because he is in great physical health, runs daily, and has a history of sports, he has control over his body and knows how to control it. However, in the video footage, it is a polar opposite, which means he may have been under the influence of more than just alcohol, but a drug being slipped into his drink. Delano is not described as a person that parties a lot or goes to clubs or bars often. This was just a night out with friends, and unfortunately, something happened. There is no doubt that Delano may have been tipsy. We can suggest that. But his body motions and physicality meets the aesthetic of someone that has been drugged. According to Pierre, he said that the friends tried calling Delano to retrieve his car from them, but he never answered, showed up, nor have they seen him since. Autumn, Delano's wife, made mention that it is atypical for Delano to be gone this long and to not contact her. She told News KHOU 11, quote, No matter what, he would call me. He would call his family. He will make sure that he gets home. So this is completely just not normal and something's wrong, end quote. Search efforts taken. At this time, family is trying to obtain the ping for his phone. Getting his phone ping will give the last known location, or at least the location of his phone, which can then give direction to retrace his footsteps from the early morning of November 13th. The Houston Heights area is a pretty lively area, especially at the hour Delano and his friends were out. This would mean that someone saw him or has more information, but may have not yet come forward. The family is asking that if you are in the local area or even further out in Houston to please check your doorbell and exterior cameras to see if it picked up someone that fits the description of Delano. I also would like to note that the family has received some help from the friends. And you can take that how you want. The friends have been questioned or will soon to be questioned. Because it has been 14 days as of the recording of this video since Delano's disappearance, I'm unsure if they've already been questioned by Houston Police Department. Karen stated during the press conference that the family and Texas EquiSearch have searched and canvassed the Heights area, used drones, volunteers, knocked on doors, checked cameras of residents and local businesses, handed out flyers, and even had cadaver dogs to help with the search. According to Assistant Chief Deese, at the time of this video, there has not been any suspects or persons of interest because it is still early on in the investigation. They cannot rule out foul play just yet, but it is still a wide open investigation. Delano's phone is currently off, as stated from Assistant Chief Deese. Actually, his cell phone has been going to voicemail since the night of his disappearance. Now, it is not clear if his phone died from battery loss or if it was turned off. As I've previously stated, there is a protocol in order to obtain the records for his phone to get his last location. Delano was last seen in the area of 20th Street, in the Heights area of Houston. Delano is a husband, son, brother, and a businessman. He needs to be found. 
I want this to be a positive outcome. He is described as an African American with a medium complexion, standing at 6'1, 200 pounds, an athletic frame, dark brown eyes, and curly black hair. Delena was last seen wearing a gray flannel button down shirt, black graphic t shirt with dark or navy blue pants. Again, I encourage locals to check your exterior cameras. The areas that he may have encountered on November 13th at 1.13 a.m. and after are Vivid Street, 16th Street, 17th Street, 15th Street, 15 and a half Street, the ballpark, a local bayou nearby, and a local hospital. This is a starting point only. It is imperative that you check your cameras if you are further out due to his strength and physical condition, and he could have ventured out further into Houston or even another city or possibly another state. For any information on Delano Burks, please contact Crime Stoppers anonymously at 713-222-TIPS or 8477. You can submit a tip online at www dot crime hyphen stoppers dot org or via mobile app in your app store. There is currently a cash reward of five thousand dollars for information leading to Delano Burks. There is also an Instagram page dedicated to finding Delano. It is at finding Delano. If you have any information, you can contact them through Instagram as well and to keep up with the case along with our videos. So what happened to Delano Burks? Where is he? The last known people to see Delano was his two friends and the bouncers at McIntyre's. Before we close, I want to give you some safety tips that may save your life. This case is an urgent one, just like all of my cases that I cover. But being that it is so recent and fresh, I wanted to bring this to you for awareness and it can hopefully reach someone who may hold information to encourage them to come forward. This can literally happen to any of us or anyone that we know, a loved one or a friend of a friend. Another thing, lastly, please, if you're going to go out to celebrate, take a vacation or just a night out with friends, please don't leave your friends behind. There has been a few cases, including this one, that has become news regarding friends. Though this may not be the case with Delano, I encourage all of my viewers to be careful of the company that you keep. Use your power of discernment. Be careful who you call a friend, and most importantly, always stick together. If one goes to the bathroom, you all need to go together. Never ever leave your drink or food unattended, even if you turn your back for a second. If you're with someone you trust and truly acknowledge as your friend, I still do not recommend you to leave your food or drinks unattended. If you do have to get up, go to the restroom, or turn your back, once you return, you need to dispose of your food and drinks. This is a safety tip that I was given from my mother many years ago, and it has and will always stick with me. So now I'm sharing with you. Another safety tip is when you enter into a venue or a building, you need to always know where your exits are upon entering so that if something happens, you will know where and how to exit the building. Be vigilant and safe in all that you do. Pay close attention to the people that are around you and who you came with, including your servers and bartenders. Be careful to not sniff a piece of paper to smell a fragrance or to touch something handed to you because it could be tainted. As always, thank you for your viewership. Please be safe, be vigilant, and always aware of your surroundings. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Psalm 91 verse 1 through 2. hard because you're trying to keep going and think positive but then reality starts to set in his wife autumn and mother karen jeffley say they knew something was wrong that day when they hadn't heard from burks he just didn't call so that's that's not like him at all 
According to his family, Delano had gone out Saturday night with friends, 